Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome to a little something different. Today we're taking a look at Blockscape, which is a sandbox game that is currently in development. I've been looking at it a little while and I just picked it up for about 12 bucks to unlock the demo mode and get a little bit more functionality. I'm just going to run around you guys and talk to y'all a little bit about the game and what I saw in it and the kind of potential that, that I believe there is and then we'll get right into it. So the first thing you'll notice is that the detail is much much higher than a game like Minecraft and um, Minecraft was a great pioneer for things like this. Uh, Notch had tweeted on it a while back saying that it looked pretty cool and um, I've been kind of digging into it and exploring some of the features and getting used to the controls and it's a little clunky right now because it's still kind of in its alpha stages but there's still plenty of potential and uh, there's some videos out there that just make me really really look at it and consider it um, something that I really wanted to, to mess around with and, and do some building on. There's currently some modes like some RPG modes and a few things um, like tower defense mode that's going to be implemented and um, I think those are going to be some really really nice additions to the platform that they've already gotten started. As you can see there's a lot of different textures in the game. There's grass and leaves and, and flowers and rock and what I'm doing, I think I'm going to look for a nice place to do some building on and we're going to gather a little bit of materials and I think this would probably be a decent place to store. It has a nice beach, has some mountains nearby, some forest and plenty of grass and resources that I'm going to look into and it looks like it even has the beginnings of a cave. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to go ahead and start chipping away at some of this stuff. Now in this game you don't really need tools. All you need is your tool, your cursor tool. So with you can change the size of blocks and change the size of, the size of your grid. And I'm going to start large since I'm just going to be hollowing some stuff out at the moment. And what I want to do is make a little tunnel and look for some resources that I'd like to build with. Um, I know wood is probably a pretty good resource and I'm going to be harvesting a few trees here and there. Um, but I'm not real familiar with the controls and I'm scared to mess up some of the landscape so we'll probably have to travel for that. In this game there's no monsters or anything but there is a lot of shadows so in an effort to reduce that I'm going to try my best and put lights around. That way you guys can see what I'm doing at all times. And it's also going to mark my way because I really don't want to get lost in this stuff. Um, I purposely have not gone through the wiki, which is starting to be put together right now. Um, I haven't gone through it too extensively because I really, really want to make sure that everything is still a surprise to me. <laughs> you know, So I'm going to mark the entrance of the cave just like this. And we're going to go in from there now. I'm gonna try not to get lost and keep all my lights on the right so we'll start that just like so and as you can tell it's kind of like the two full block depth dimension that Minecraft is so that's what I'm gonna probably dig in as far as depth goes let's go ahead and increase our block size again and start digging and as you can see every time I take away a portion of these materials I'm actually getting stuff in my inventory as well and I'll show you all that right now this is the inventory setup and I have a bunch of different blocks that I've been collecting and they've also been accumulating right here and I know it's really really hard to see the font size but right now we have cobble bricks and slabs that we can make out of the materials that we've harvested already so this is pretty much rock and this is sand I believe so we're going to keep going down here a little bit. Oh, I don't want to do that. Um, by right clicking you actually pull from the resources and by left clicking you actually place resources. So that's the difference. And I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. I just know that I want a few different materials to build with. And I think we're going to try to stay pretty modern with this. Um, which is going to be a different speed than Minecraft is. 
simply because the textures allow me to go a lot more modern than usual. And every once in a while you're going to see some lag spikes like that. It's just, I guess it's rendering or whatever. I said that game was really, really in its early alpha stages. But So we're going to go ahead and mine a little bit of this, hoping that I find uh, different kinds of materials that I can use into what will probably start off as a basic house or <laughs> I guess a place to stay. Oh, let me go ahead and remove that. I need to, let's see, let's select a different, let's select this sand block to, to put down there, yeah, because we went a little bit too far down. There we go. And, oh, there's something different. Hmm, what is that? Let's see. Let's go ahead and take a sample of that. And that appears to be... Hmm, I can't tell. Oh, steel. Steel. Hmm. Steel, that sounds interesting. Let's go ahead and pull some of that. So that's some sort of... It's like an ore that we can mine. Right now, I don't know if you can use that for anything outside of a building block, but I'm definitely going to play around with the idea. It's definitely a cool looking substance. Let's go ahead and increase the size and pull out some larger chunks and see if there's any more of that stuff there. Yeah, there's a little bit there. Looks good. Okay. So now I really have to stuff back here. Oh wait, I missed a spot. There. Okay. There's some more there. Okay. I also need to put my light back up. So let's go ahead and select that. And it's cool, you can kind of just hold space and use them like steps. And I want to install some lights as I go on the way down. That's really important that I don't get lost. Even though it's pretty simple not to get lost at this point. Like I said, those cave systems get really, really expansive. Oh, am I out of block light? Yeah, I sure am. Okay, so that's limited. Hmm. Well, that's definitely not good. <laughs> we have a limited source of these things. I definitely do not want to use them up. This, I wonder where you can find some of this. I'll have to do a little bit of research on that to tell, but uh, for now, this will this will work. I'll actually use those a little bit when I um, when I get too far down into the caves. See, even though I don't have like a character or whatever, the entity that I am emits light, so it's pretty cool. Y'all y'all can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. I want to go a little bit further down here and see if I don't find anything even more interesting. So we're going to go ahead and go back to that sand block there. And we're going to select the full size and we're going to plug away and dig in some more. Let's see what I have here. Ooh, some more steel. Good, very good. Steel is good. A cool gray looking material which I can probably do a lot with. It seems to be pretty plentiful down here, at least in this section. Like I said, I'm really not sure what the ores are supposed to look like or even if they're usable besides just basic building materials, but definitely want to collect some. Now for those of you that are interested in playing the game, Y'all can go to Blockscape.com and download it, which I'll put a link in the description. There's a demo available that doesn't cost anything. It doesn't give you the save feature, but it will allow you to mess around with it a little bit and, and get used to the controls and see if it's something you like. Right now, there's some basics that aren't in place, like small things like the mouse wheel doesn't work to scroll. You have to use... Um, the Q through T keys, I'm sorry, the T through P keys and the number keys to switch the blocks from the bars, but 
Uh, for the most part, it's, um, it's, it's coming along pretty well. And like I said, it's currently in development, so it'll definitely get some uh, some good reviews, I'm sure, once it once it gets a little bit further out. So yeah, I'm gonna keep digging down here for a little while, you guys. And if I come across any cool materials besides the steel and the rock that you've been seeing, I'll um, I'll be sure to tune you in. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Well, you guys, it looks like we found something a little more interesting. I just was digging through and I came across this section here. Now, I don't even know what that stuff looks like, but I'm going to go ahead and jump down here. And, wow. I don't know if I should have did that. <laughs> Let's see. Looks like I probably need to use cobblestone up here and build me a little bridge of some sort just to be on the safe side because from the looks of it it is not safe to go any further down with the chance of not getting lost because I am really deep here so let's see I'm gonna go ahead and put a light here yeah I'm gonna put a light there and I'll put a light down here as well. Wow. Don't you look at all that? Is that just regular rock with a crazy light? Or I don't know what that is. Hmm. Well, at any rate, we need to finish up our staircase. So let's go ahead and walk back with the cobble. And we'll do the full size block again. There. And let's see. Oh no, I need to go full size. The reticle needs to increase there. Okay. So we could do that. And that. There we go. That's a few more stairs down. Yeah, I feel a little bit more confident like that. for now. Let's go a little bit further down and see. And this hole looks tremendously deep. Mm, really deep. Okay. Is that, is that just a reflection of light? Yeah, that's not even a material. This cave system is freaking huge. And it seems like <laughs> you can get lost so easy. Everything looks so much alike. No, I'm not confident <laughs> at all right there. I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I have quite a bit of materials. Uh, I don't want a chance, and I'm going to go back up to the surface. Let me go ahead and pull my resources back here. And to do that, I just need to take from there. And let me go ahead and jump on my little staircase that I made. I'll pull this one too. Now, yeah, feeling much better about that. All right, back up to the top we go. <laughs> kind of worried about that. Yeah, the uh, the idea of getting lost and not being able to find my way back up to the top. Like I said, I did a little bit of off-screen playing, and um, the caverns go on limitlessly. So, oh wow, we look at this. Looks like the sun is setting or whatever. Man, that is incredible. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, I think we found a great spot for our, um, our little house, you guys. Um, I'm going to call the episode for now, and we'll call that the exploration. When we come back, guys, we'll start playing around with some building ideas and putting a few blocks down and show you how that works. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, and um, please give me some feedback on the series. Tell me if y'all like what y'all see, if y'all want to see more, and um, we'll see how far we can go. Thanks so much. This is Zuljin signing off, and have a good one.